We climb out of Auburn Airport, we're headed down the foothills to Palm Springs on a beautiful day when all of a sudden the worst thing happens. The right engine fails. Oh. Holy shit. Chase? Yep. You okay? Yep. I'm scared. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back. So most of the flying that I do when I'm not teaching is with my family. Uh, this is my wife Jess and my two kids. Uh, Lena here is 11 and Rowan is the little one. And when we fly, no matter how much I say to the girls pack light, we always end up with a ton of bags. And you know, as I'm looking around at buying an airplane, the 182, it works, but we're kind of outgrowing it. So. You might have seen in the last video that I got checked out in a Cessna 310 and to test it out and see if the family liked it, we took a trip down to Palm Springs. Now this is our first flight in a twin engine airplane and there's some great things about the twin. I mean, straight away we got more bags in there. Most of the bags went in the nose. Uh, the kids had tons of room in the back. We got great climb performance, great air speeds. So the performance was on point and uh, something I could really get used to. But the problem with twin engine airplanes is if you lose one engine, all of the thrust is coming from one side, asymmetric thrust. And it makes the airplane tricky to control. And with the higher stall speeds in a twin and the fact that you can't always maintain altitude or climb on one engine, uh, losing an engine in a twin is statistically more dangerous than losing it in a single. So as I said, recently we loaded up at Auburn and this is our first flight together as a family in a twin. We climb out of Auburn Airport. We're headed down the foothills to Palm Springs on a beautiful day when all of a sudden, the worst thing happens. The right engine fails. Oh. Holy shit. Chase? Yep. You okay? Yep. What happened? Right engine didn't like something. Engine was that. It, it went right. down on this side. Yep, that was the right engine. I don't know what it was. I'm scared. It was okay. It felt a little weird, but it's okay. Daddy's got it. The only way you notice this, by the way, is keeping your eyes outside when you're visual and seeing the yaw of the airplane. And it's your job to step on the rudder to control the yaw, um, identify the dead engine, verify that it's actually dead engine and that you have the right one, and then either fix it or feather it. So the engine definitely failed for a moment. I know that because I had to reset the alternator. Uh, it's a bit hard to see in this video because right here, as the airplane begins to yaw and roll right, I immediately step on the rudder to stop it. I instinctively go for the mixture, which brings the engine back to life. Uh, the engine's currently in a hundred hour now, so we don't know what the cause was. Until I saw the video, when I looked back on it, I thought that I had uh, it happened while I was leaning the engine because, you know, as a colleague of mine recently said, uh, two engines on, air, on an airplane is like having two children, right? They're very, very different beasts. And what I learned about the twin after we got the engine back and everybody calmed down is that it's a lot of work. For the rest of the trip to Palm Springs, I was trying to figure out what the problem was. And I've got 12 cylinders to manage. That's six on either side. Uh, on the right engine, cylinder number two was just hot the whole time, approaching 500 degrees. And I kept get I kept getting warnings uh, about the cylinder head temperature. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. What's wrong? Just one of the cylinders is hot on the right engine. This one. Yeah, and I'm just getting used to the plane. So I was trying to keep the temperatures uniform to make sure as, at, that, that all 12 cylinders were getting as close to the same EGT as possible. That's the exhaust gas temperature. Um, and it tells you a little bit something about what's going on inside the engine, how the fuel's burning, what the mixture is. Um, and so as it turned out, the secret sauce was to keep the right mixture knob about an inch ahead of the left mixture knob with the right fuel pump on and the left fuel pump off. The fuel flow gauges are just so different and the EGTs are corresponding to that. So I'm gonna go with the lever forward. And I only knew that after fiddling with it and looking at all of the temperatures for almost an hour after the engine failed. Worse, the fuel flow gauges were showing that I was burning less fuel out of the right tank than the left tank. However, I could tell from the gauges and the balance of the airplane that I was in fact burning more out of the right than out of the left. So 
All of this contributed to a high workload environment and had me really working most of the way down to Palm Springs. And I think I learned, you know, that I can get, definitely get used to the performance of a twin engine airplane, um, but it is really upping the ante in terms of workflow, workload, and um, potential dangers when it comes to flying with the family. So I'm not saying I'm gonna give up flying twins. Um, quite frankly, I got a little bit spoiled with the space and the climb performance and the speeds. Um, so I'll keep you informed on how that goes. We are still gonna fly that airplane, but it, you know, it may be counterintuitive, but the realities are uh, it's A, it's more work, and, and B, it's slightly riskier than flying around in a single, so. Anyway, I'll keep you guys in the loop on the story. A huge thanks to you guys for watching this video. Leave me a comment below if there's a video you want to see me make. Um, also, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little alert bell so you get notified of uploads. And consider joining Patreon. That's huge in terms of getting these videos out regularly. There's bonus content there, monthly Zoom calls with me. Um, so much stuff up there. So check it out at patreon.com slash learn TFP. Also, a big thanks to the sponsors. Remember that when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. You may need that someday. Please share this video far and wide. You guys are the best fans on the internet. I'm Jason Miller, and until next time, be safe and fly your best.